Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am going to show you different room aesthetics There are so many different room aesthetics and I thought I'd show you some of them today I do want to say I'm not an expert. I just did my research and hopefully I got it all right I don't have every single aesthetic, but I feel like these are definitely some of the more popular ones Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the most simple one, which is minimalistic or minimal This aesthetic is pretty simple. Most of the time there aren't a lot of different colors It's mostly white black gray wood tints beige more like that more the really neutral tones and of course you can add some color it's not like that's not allowed <laughs> there's usually not a lot going on it's more tidy it's not cluttered but usually when you go look for it there's not a lot of stuff on the wall there's not a lot of decor it's all very tidy it's just very minimal just like the name already tells you i feel like wooden furniture is more popular in this aesthetic it's more neutral you can go for this aesthetic but add some more color and stuff like that then moving on to the bohemian aesthetic or boho aesthetic i love this aesthetic it's so cozy for colors it's more earth tones it's a lot of white beige also some green tints and orange but overall it's just more earth tones when you look at bohemian i always notice how cozy it is there's like a lot of rugs and pillows and blankets i feel like it's always so cozy there's also a lot of prints you also have these kind of things like they're so popular in the bohemian aesthetic that you like hang up on the wall or like as a rug with bohemian i also notice a lot of plants i feel like bohemian is more earth like i really like it it looks so good then moving on to indie aesthetic also called kid core i think what i always notice with this aesthetic is first of all really bright colors to lots of different colors and also it's really cluttered so there's a lot of stuff on the wall usually a lot of stuff on the bed a lot of decoration when i look at indie aesthetic I also get kind of 90s vibes. What is sometimes popular are things like Hello Kitty, Brad's, stuff like that. And also just the prints and stuff that they usually decorate with. I feel like it's just more 90s vibes. I feel like plants and especially those vines are also really popular in this aesthetic. It's very bright and kind of happy because of all the different colors and I like the vibe of this aesthetic for sure. The next aesthetic is also kind of one of my favorites and I think a little bit what my room is as well and that is pastel aesthetic. I don't know if this is an actual name but I'm just gonna call it pastel. Of course the key to this aesthetic is a lot of pastel colors. When you look at this aesthetic there's a lot of different colors as well so not just only like pink and blue pastel colors but just a bunch of different pastel colors. It's often combined with white as well. It's very soft, it's very cutesy and sweet. Overall, when you look at the pictures, it's not really like cluttered per se, but there is a lot of decoration, a lot on the wall usually. In some rooms, you also see more just really bright colors, not just pastel soft colors per se, but also more bright colors mixed in there. And I think that looks so good. I think it's so pretty. Next aesthetic is also one of my favorites. It's cottage core. I love the whole vibe of this cottage core aesthetic for colors it's definitely white and green and also some wooden tints this also has a lot of earth vibes to it flowers and plants especially are so popular when you look at pictures of this aesthetic i definitely get some vintage vibes as well it's definitely not very modern with this aesthetic just comes a lot of more old vibes vintage vibes a lot of plants wood and things it's more just very down to earth i feel like nature is just a big part in this aesthetic the name kind of explained everything. It's just like more cottage vibes. <laughs> I just love this aesthetic so much. The next aesthetic is artsy aesthetic. I think that's the best name I have for it. <laughs> what I feel like is popular in this aesthetic is bright colors. Yellow, pink, green, white. Usually it's more light. Artsy aesthetic also kind of explains itself already. This usually goes really well together with more creative people, people who like to paint, like to be creative, but of course doesn't have to be that at all. You don't have to be creative. Plants are also very popular in this aesthetic as well as artsy decor. This aesthetic is usually a bit more cluttered. There's a lot of stuff on the walls, a lot of decoration. Overall, it's very bright and alive and I really like this aesthetic as well. The next aesthetic is Fisco aesthetic and this is not like Fisco girl, it's just Fisco. <laughs> 
it's really bright it's very light there's a lot of white like gray maybe some light pink it's a bit more calm it's more tidy it's not very cluttered but there is definitely some decor what is so popular with this one is the vines on the wall like going down in a row like that i see that a lot in this aesthetic and also fairy lights are very popular some even have the fairy lights in the vines i kind of get a girly vibe from it but it doesn't have to be of course you can make it your own it's kind of a bit more simple but it's not minimalistic as well but it does look good the next one is a bit more visco girl ish i don't know if this is the exact name for it but i call this the beachy aesthetic you can kind of already hear in the name what it's about it's more beach vibes so the colors are definitely more bright white blue of course some wooden tints to it wooden furniture is popular in this aesthetic what of course is a big part in this aesthetic again is like the earth vibes love for the planet sustainability is so important that's why there's a lot of plants neutral tones some blue vibes because it's the whole beach thing also what i see a lot are just like pictures of the beach the sea stuff like that and also some surf planks but i think this one is kind of obvious it's just beach vibes but i love this one so much then the next one is dark academia i don't know if that's how you pronounce it i'm so sorry if i'm saying it wrong colors that are popular are mostly just dark colors i feel like you see dark wood a lot in these rooms but also just dark green and black just more dark tones this one also has a lot of information in the name itself it's more dark it's kind of the academic vibe and just the whole school vibe so a lot of books i feel like the desk area is kind of the main part in these kind of bedrooms it's definitely not very modern of course you could try and make it more modern but i feel like this is more of a vintage vibe i also notice that in most of these rooms it's more cluttered there's some more decoration there's stuff on the walls there are a lot of books which can also look very cluttered but if you don't like dark but you do like this whole vibe then there's also light academia which is the next aesthetic light academia is basically kind of the same thing but with lighter tints and colors to it <laughs> i feel like beige and light wood is so popular but maybe also some white and light green in between this also gives me just a little bit of cottagecore vibes because like i said it's a bit more vintage there are some plants some flowers it is still different of course the books and stuff like that is kind of the key to this whole aesthetic but this one just has a bit more neutral colors that's just a difference then the next one is grunge aesthetic i hope i will explain everything correct because this is not really my territory the most popular thing with this aesthetic of course is dark colors a lot of black and white there's not a lot of color it's more just black and white what i also notice is that it's very messy and cluttered there's a lot of stuff a lot of decor sometimes a lot of wall decoration there's a lot going on in these rooms i also notice in some of the rooms that there are fairy lights so i feel like that might be a little bit popular in this aesthetic i don't know if this is actually a part of this aesthetic but i also noticed some plants sometimes then another aesthetic that i'm not very familiar with is the kawaii aesthetic i hope i'm saying it right with this aesthetic the biggest part is pink most of the time there's a lot of pink but in some pictures there's also just more pastel colors not only pink but also like pastel blue and purple for example and there's also a bit more white but often there's a lot of pink i don't want to say anything wrong but i feel like this is also more the japanese side kawaii is the culture of cuteness in japan so i was right okay but there's a lot of stuffed animals so i feel like that's also very popular and i also noticed a lot of the time there's a lot of gaming this aesthetic is very cutesy and sweet and very pink but it doesn't have to be <laughs> the last one is vintage i wasn't sure if i want to include this aesthetic it's kind of similar to like the cottagecore aesthetic and some other aesthetics in this list but i did want to include it because it is just a bit different for colors i feel like it's always more light and bright so white beige and wooden aspects are very common in this aesthetic but sometimes also some pastel colors it has some aspects of other aesthetics that i've mentioned I feel like plants are very popular in this aesthetic Vintage kind of speaks for itself Like records, record players Just that kind of more old and vintage stuff I just don't really have much to say about it It's just vintage So I think I'm just gonna leave it 
at that. That were all the aesthetics that I have for you today. I think I got like especially most of the popular ones, but there are some more aesthetics. I hope that this was helpful. I hope you got a bit of a better idea about what room aesthetic you like, what you might want to go for, or maybe a combination of some, which is also not wrong. Just make your own unique aesthetic. Go do your own thing. But I really hope this helped. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family. And I hope I will see you next week.